by for your monthly general message for June 2020. Whew, can you believe this year? It's almost up. Yes, yes, yes. Positive energy, positive energy for Aquarius for June 2020. What is going on? What is going on for June 2020 for Aquarius? What a year this has been yes 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 one more angels one more what that's way too many one more for aquarius just one more angels just thank you thank you thank you moving on to yes 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 positive energy positive energy <laughs> for aquarius what is going on for aquarius you're like dora will you just hurry up and shuffle those deck on cards angels and guides we are looking for positive energy yes 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 i feel like i feel i'm gonna go with what i feel right there yes 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 and moving on to my mama's deck yes 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 positive energy for aquarius a lots lots of love lots of love lots of love positive energy for Aquarius for the month of June, sixth month of the year. Yes, yes, yes. And one more, please. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. We got two. <laughs> All right, moving on to, moving on to, yes, yes, this. I feel, like, I feel like we've done that one. Yeah, we have. All right, so now we're going to the Angels of Light deck. Positive energy, positive energy, positive, nothing, 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 but positive energy please angels just positive love now we're going to top it off with the hummingbirds yes yes just top it off with the hummingbird deck yes come on now remember aquarius if this is taking too long <laughs> yeah if this is taking too long you already know what to do what is that you like what is that just take that little button and just go like that positive energy please positive energy for for Aquarius, two more please, two more angels, just two more messages, two more for Aquarius for the month of, way too many, for the month of June, halfway through, halfway through this year. Positive energy please. Come on angels, just two please. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A little bit rough, but I got it. <laughs> a little bit rough. Okay, so let's tidy up a bit here for Aquarius for June 2020. All right. Lots of energy, lots of energy on the table. Okay, so major theme, major theme for the month, Aquarius, 2020, June. We have the Four of Cups, yes, 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 with the Destiny card, the Ten of Diamonds, Five of Spades, Angel of Diversity, Jack of Diamonds, Three of Diamonds. Wow, that was some way powerful energy with that diversity. Okay, so I feel like with the four of, 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 of cups this this month, you're focusing on something emotional. I feel like something emotional that you don't really feel like you have a hold on, right? You don't feel like you have a hold on. But something within this that you feel emotionally like you're unsettled about, there is there's, this has been your destiny to be right here, right here and now, right? And with the 10 of diamonds, I definitely feel like whatever this is that you are uh, holding on to, that, or, or you, you're meditating on, you're thinking about it, or right? you're, you're there, you're there. Well, here's the thing, with the 10 of diamonds, I feel like whatever it is that have, you've been focusing on that has not, like reaped your rewards okay i feel like they, your rewards will definitely be coming right uh, uh, you know what a ton uh, like blessings financial blessings with the five like almost like you know sometimes we put in we put in sweat equity in something and we're working and we're working and we're working and we work and we never see any result but we keep the grind going right well i definitely feel like it is time for the grind to start paying off there's changes there's life changes there's work changes there's angel of diversity there's you're doing things differently than anyone else if someone is telling you to change the way you're doing something because because everyone else is doing it. Okay, don't do that. Don't listen, right? The Jack of Diamonds is telling me to use your own creativity. Three of Diamonds, backing up creativity. Whatever you are doing, 
and it hasn't been working, it's going to start working. It's going to get noticed. It's going to bring abundance. So when someone in your ear is saying, you know, while you're waiting for it to manifest, if you will, this abundance, if someone says, well, you should do this and you should do that. No, do it differently. Do it your way. You know that old saying, I did it my way. That should be your mantra, okay? All right, now, when we look at the recent past Aquarius, we have the King of Cups and the Intuition card with the Ten of Clubs and the Ace of Spades with the Angel of Spiritual Temptus, the Queen of Spades and the Five of Clubs. So in the recent past, I definitely feel like emotionally you or someone else emotionally had it going on, right? Maybe, maybe a little bit of an emotional... Uh, bully or something like that, right? Right? And it could be you or it could be someone else. Now, when we look at the intuition, I definitely feel like you are definitely connected. Like, you know, you know what you know. With this Ten of Clubs, I feel that people in the recent past were coming to you for your guided knowledge. And I feel like this knowledge was coming to you from your intuition, right? Now, with the Ace of Spades, I feel like in the recent past, there was something new that happened. I feel like it could have been a life change. It could be a, a new job. And I feel like it made you do the spiritual temptus it challenged you spiritually with the queen of spades you had to go within and you had to make changes within yourself and not the changes around you you had to change your way of thinking now that was in the recent past now in the middle of the month, in the middle of the month, Aquarius, you have the um, you have the Four of Pentacles reversed with the Power card and the King of Spades with the Five of Hearts and the Angel of Alchemy with the King of Hearts. So I definitely am, there's a lot of power going on here. With the Four of Pentacles, it's time for you to start letting go of some money or you are feeling like you have to start letting go of some money. That is bringing you power as you release this money with this King of Spades is putting you in a position of... Like, there's a ton of work involved in this. There's a ton of work involved in this. With the Five of Hearts, you're going to change your feelings back and forth about this. Um, but you have the abil ability to manifest the King of Hearts. You have the ability to manifest that power. I feel like you are... I feel like there is an element of not... Of not like, you have. You have abundance. You have it, but it's time to let go of some of it, right? And and letting go of some of it is bringing you some power in your life. With the king of spades, it's definitely putting you in a position where you have to work harder than you ever worked before. And your, your feelings are all over the place about that, but you have the ability to manifest the king of hearts. You have the ability to manifest your feelings about that. Like your feelings are kind of all over about all of this work that you're putting in, right? But at the same time, you have the ability to get those feelings in check and in the, okay, I know this is what I have to do because I need to take care of my kingdom, okay? Now, when we look at the end of the month, when we look at the end of the month, we have the six of pentacles and the awareness card with the six of hearts and the three of clubs with the angel of faith, the jack of spades and the joker. So in the by the end of the month, I definitely see financially this, things are working out in your favor, right? Definitely. You are tapped in spiritually. You are definitely tapped in and I feel like emotionally you are feeling stable almost like you know my, my finances are good therefore I am good I feel good about the situation there is a bit of worry there's a bit of worry about faith of having faith in a situation because I definitely feel like um I feel like you you're really wondering there's I see that I see um I see like two two sides, two, two sides, right? Like, you know, you know, those artists, uh, mask, one is happy, one is sad. It's kind of like that. I see you. You're kind of like, okay, not that you have two face or anything like that, but it's like, who, who do I present? Who do I present to the world? Right? Who do I present to the world? With a Joker card, I feel like it's all up to you. I, it's, I feel like it's totally up to you. You're having faith about, um, continuing to keep up this, this, um, it's like, I feel like, I feel like it has something to do with finances. I feel like it has something to do with finances, but you are getting, you are getting your just due. You are getting your just due. And I, I definitely feel like you are aware that this is for you. You're aware of that. You're feeling good, but you're still worried about continued faith. Maybe you're worried, are you going to keep getting your just due? You're just not so sure of 
you're not so sure. You are not so sure if things are going to change in a minute. And with this Joker card, you don't know. It's like, I just don't know. And it's, that's kind of how you leave the month. Like, I don't know if this is going to continue or not, right? So no. When we look at your bonus, when we look at your bonus, you have the Empress card and the Chariot card with the positive movement forward and the memories of love, accelerated motion, disruption, positive movements and decisions. I'm sorry, movement choices and decisions. Ace of clubs, seven of hearts, two of hearts, angel of frolic, four of spades and the ace of clubs so i definitely feel like there you're feeling pretty darn good about yourself right you're feeling like you know i feel good i feel good i i have the means to do what it is that i need to do i'm i'm really feeling i'm taking care of right with the chariot card i definitely see um things are going to start progressing in your life positive movement forward. I feel like with the memories of love, I, I see as things move forward, you're going to be thinking about the past, right? You're going to be thinking about things that happened in the past, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean this train isn't going to keep running down that track. Okay. With the accelerated motions there, it feels like there's going to be a halt with the disruption card and you're going to have to make a decision. You're definitely going to have to make a choice and a decision. There is an ace of clubs here saying that there is a brand new decision that needs to be made. And with the seven of hearts, you may not like the decision. The decision may be made for you or the decision that you make might not make, might not make you feel very good. It looks like in the two of hearts, it looks like in a love bond it could be a love bond with a romantic partner with a child with a um, 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 a friend or uh, of, of that nature but I definitely feel like um, it whatever this love bond in it's you're not you're not like feeling like this is you're just not feeling like this is a good decision, right? That's what you're feeling. And with the angel of frolic, I definitely feel like you're going to say, you know what? You made your decision or I made my decision. I'm just going to go on about my life with the four of spades. I see you definitely like saying, you know what? Yes, I'm just going to go on with my life and I'm secure with that. I'm going to ace of clubs. I'm definitely going to start thinking something brand new. Yes, yes, yes. So if there is a decision that is made in the middle of the month and it, it catches you off guard I feel like you you don't you don't agree with it you don't feel like it's for your best interest or maybe even the other person's best interest but I feel like you're definitely going to go with it and you're going to just let let it um you're not going to let it worry you I'm just going to say you're not going to let it worry you because at the end of the month with the joker card you don't know what is to come you know you're like whatever whatever is going to happen what isn't going to happen you're kind of like okay it may happen it may not happen i'm not i feel there's an element i'm not investing too much into much when it comes to um when it comes to different relationships in your life it could be romantic it could be with family members it could be with friends things of that nature because there's an element of not knowing what the future holds okay all right so i send you joy namaste and much, much love sent your way.